Lake Charles, Louisiana. Lake Charles is the fifth largest incorporated city in the U.S. state of Louisiana, located on Lake Charles, Preen Lake, and the Kakashu River. Founded in 1861 in Kakashu Parish, it is a major industrial, cultural, and educational center in the southwest region of the state. As of the 2010 census, the population was 71,993. Lake Charles is the principal city of the Lake Charles Metropolitan Statistical Area, having a population of 202,040. It is the larger principal city of the Lake Charles Jennings Combined Statistical Area, with a population of 225,235. The 2010 population of the five parish area of southwest Louisiana was 292,619. It is considered a regionally significant center of petrochemical refining, gaming, tourism, and education, being home to McNeese State University and Sawala Technical Community College. Because of the lakes and waterways throughout the city, Metropolitan Lake Charles is often referred to as the Lake Area. On March 7, 1861, Lake Charles was officially incorporated as the town of Charleston, Louisiana. Lake Charles was originally founded by merchant and tradesman Marco Alici as an outpost a Sephardic Jewish trader of either Basque Spanish or Venetian Italian origins. He had arrived to Louisiana after hitchhiking and was invited onto a Spanish vessel due to his determination and loyalty to volunteer and work freely for the Spanish Empire. Long before incorporation and even before the Louisiana Purchase, other names for Lake Charles were known as Port du Lafitte or Riviere Lafitte, among many other names now lost. Elichi had also founded other outposts and towns in Louisiana prior, most notably, which is honorarily named after him. There are also urban tales he had planned to name the settlement New Vocades, after the city in Spain, but this is uncertain. The town was first incorporated in 1857 as Charleston after an early settler, Charles Salier. Ten years later, on March 16, 1867, Charleston was reincorporated as the city of Lake Charles. In 1910, a fire, known as the Great Fire of 1910, devastated much of the city. However, Lake Charles soon rebuilt itself and continued to grow and expand in the 20th century. The Charleston Hotel was completed in 1929, during the administration of Mayor Henry J. Geary. During and after World War II, Lake Charles experienced industrial growth with the onset of the petrochemical refining industries. The city grew to a high of some 75,000 people in the early 1980s, but with local economic recession, the population declined. With the advent of the gaming, manufacturing, and aviation maintenance industries, the city rebounded with a population of 71,993 as of 2010. Lake Charles, located on a level plain about 30 miles from the Gulf of Mexico, has an elevation of 13 feet, and is located on the banks of the Kakashu River in southwestern Louisiana. It borders both Lake Charles and Preen Lake. Contraband Bayou, Henderson Bayou, and English Bayou flow through the city. Oak trees and pine trees dot the landscape, as the lumber industry, once the main economic engine of the area, can attest to. Dot the Kalkashu ship channel, which allows large ocean-going vessels to sail up from the Gulf, also borders the city. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 44.8 square miles, of which 42.0 square miles is land and 2.7 square miles, or 6.12%, is water. Lake Charles is tied with Port Arthur, Texas, and Astoria, Oregon, as the most humid city in the contiguous United States, and the second most humid measured location behind unincorporated Quileute, Washington. The average relative humidity in Lake Charles is 90% in the morning, and 72% in the afternoon. As of the 2010 census, the population was 71,993. In 2010, the population density was 1,711.8 people per square mile. There were 32,469 housing units. The racial makeup of the city was 47% white. 47% African American, 0.4% Native American, 1.7% Asian, 0.47% from other races, 2.1% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.9% of the population. There were 28,228 households, out of which 26.6% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 37.8% were married couples living together. 18.3% had a female householder with no husband present, and 39.4% were non-families. 
33.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 12.1% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.43 and the average family size was 3.13. In 2010, the population was spread out with 27% under the age of 18, 8.5% from 20 to 24, 24.8% from 25 to 44, 25% from 45 to 64, and 14.1% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 35 years. For every 100 females, there were 90.9 males. The percentage of males was 45.7% versus 54.3% for females. The median income for a household in the city was $36,001. The per capita income for the city was $22,855. 20.9% of the population was below the poverty line. The top employer, the Calcasieu Parish School System, employs approximately 5,000 workers. The second largest employer is Lauberge Casino Resort, which has 2,400 workers. Several petrochemical plants and an oil refinery are located nearby along the Kakashu Ship Channel. Turner Industries, Westlake Chemical Corporation, and Sitgo each employ over a thousand engineers. The Trunkline LNG Terminal, immediately southwest of Lake Charles, is one of the United States' few liquefied natural gas terminals. It has facilities for LNG receipt, storage, and regasification. Other industrial companies include PPG Industries, Phillips 66, Sassol, and W.R. Grace. Local industry also includes a number of manufacturing companies. Chenault International Airport hosts Arcor, which services airplanes, and a Northrop Grumman facility. The Shaw Group has a manufacturing facility which manufactures and exports parts for nuclear power plants. With small businesses, big box stores, and a regional mall, Lake Charles serves as the shopping and retail hub of the five parish area. Preen Lake Mall, which serves nearly 300,000 people is anchored by four department stores, Dillard's, Sears, Kohl's, and JCPenney. It has over 80 retail options. Retailers include Talbots, Gap, Aeropostale, Bath, and Body Works, Ulta Beauty, Express, American Eagle, Buckle, Hollister, and Coach. The Lake Charles Power Center is a shopping area that has 1 million square feet of shopping space. The Cottage Shop District supports approximately a dozen small businesses. Lauberge du Lac Casino Resort offers upscale clothing boutiques. Lake Charles has the biggest casino market in the state of Louisiana. The Lauberge du Lac Casino Resort is a 242 acres, 26-story hotel in Lake Charles. It has nearly 1,000 guest rooms, as well as a casino, golf course, spa, and meeting center. A second casino, the Golden Nugget Lake Charles, opened in late 2014 next to L'Auberge du Lac. The casino resort has more than 740 guest rooms, a casino, golf course, meeting space, retail corridor and a private beach and marina. Lake Charles has a strong Creole and Cajun culture because of its location in South Louisiana. The city has its own symphony orchestra, the Lake Charles Symphony. It was founded in 1938 and hosts concerts at the Rosa Hart Theater, which has a capacity of over 2,000. The Lake Charles Little Theater is now in its 91st season. Lake Charles is home to a number of museums and art galleries. The largest, the Imperial Calcasieu Museum, features a permanent historical exhibit with artifacts and an art gallery. Its grounds are home to the Solyar Oak Tree, which is around 400 years old. The historic City Hall Arts and Cultural Center is used as exhibition space, moving art exhibits are displayed at this public art gallery each month. It also hosts the Charlestown Farmers Market, which provides a venue for local farmers and merchants to sell goods. The USS Orlac Naval Museum, a naval destroyer from 1945, is open for public tours as a veterans memorial and museum. It is located on the river in North Lake Charles. The Central School Arts and Humanities Center, located in the historical Charpentier District, is owned by the city. Charpentier is French for carpenter, a reference to the carpenter architects who built the mixed-style homes in the district. Central School features the Black Heritage Art Gallery, which is on the Louisiana African American Heritage Trail as well as the Mardi Gras Museum of Imperial Calcasieu, which features extravagant costumes and an interactive float. It has the largest collection of Mardi Gras memorabilia in the South. Other studios and cultural activities include the Art Associates Gallery, Studio 347 Gallery, 
the Lake Charles Symphony, and the Lake Charles Community Band. McNeese State University annually produces the Banners Series, a series of various musical and theatrical performances. Banners also hosts lectures and presentations from notable persons and academics. Local theaters include the Lake Charles Little Theater, the Artist's Civic Theater and Studio, and the Children's Theater. Many festivals are held at the Civic Center. The most popular, the Louisiana Pirate Festival, is hosted on the Civic Center grounds and lakefront. The Pirate Festival is a 12-day annual festival held during the first two weeks of May. The celebrations are filled with savory Cajun food, family fun, and live entertainment, including several national acts. The festival is regularly attended by more than 200,000 people, making it one of the largest celebrations in Louisiana. In a reference to the legends of piracy on the lake and contraband bayou, the festival begins when the pirate Jean Lafitte and his crew capture the city and force the mayor to walk the plank. Mardi Gras in Lake Charles has a long history dating back to 1882, when Momus, king of Mardi Gras, landed his royal yacht at the foot of Pujol Street downtown. Throughout the two world wars, Mardi Gras was downsized which led to a lack of participation by the area's youth. However, an interest to redevelop the festivities arose, and the first Mardi Gras ball in Lake Charles was staged in 1964. The full revival of Mardi Gras in Lake Charles was not realized until 1979, when several crew captains formed the crew of Cruis, with the primary purpose of parading and promoting Mardi Gras for local residents. In 1985, Mardi Gras of Imperial Calcasieu Incorporated was formed by a group of civic-minded volunteers to further aid in the preservation of this festival. Mardi Gras in Lake Charles regularly draws in crowds of 150,000. Some of the city's cultural events include the Martin Luther King Festival, Livestock Show, and Rodeo, Black Heritage Festival, Garden Festival, Palm Sunday Tour of Homes, Downtown at Sundown, Memorial Day Avenue of Flags, Crawfish Festival, Asian-American Culture Fest, Cajun French, Creole, Zydeco Music, and Zydeco Trail Rides, Food Festivals, Marshland Festival, Gatorman Triathlon, Music, and Food Festival, Arts Fest, and Riverside Fall Festival. The city has 31 parks, many of which include playground equipment, athletic facilities, and walking paths. Shiver Me Timbers Millennium Park, located downtown, was built entirely by volunteers in 2000. Adventure Cove, a state-of-the-art park, was also built by volunteers, and is specifically designed for handicapped children. Hunting and fishing are popular with both residents and visitors to the lake area. An all-American road, the Creole Nature Trail, Louisiana's Outback, brings tourists to Lake Charles and throughout southwest Louisiana. Lake Charles is home to the McNeese Cowboys, whose football team hosts games at Cowboy Stadium which has a seating capacity of 17,410. Burton Coliseum hosts the McNeese basketball teams. Lake Charles has been home to minor league baseball teams, indoor football teams, a minor league ice hockey team and soccer teams. Golf is popular at the city's Mallard Cove Golf Course. Other golf courses include Gray Plantation Golf Course, Lake Charles Country Club Golf Course, the Contraband Bayou Golf Club, and the Country Club at Golden Nugget. Gray Plantation Golf Course is featured on Louisiana's Audubon Golf Trail. South Lake Charles Little League has had nationally winning teams televised on ESPN. The city has one university and one community college. McNeese State University, located on a 121-acre main campus lined with oak trees in the heart of Lake Charles, is a four-year public university in the University of Louisiana system. Contraband Bayou flows through the campus. McNeese was founded in 1939 and named after educator John McNeese. It offers over 80 majors, and includes the Colleges of Business, Education, Engineering, and Engineering Technology, Liberal Arts, Nursing, Science, Honoris College, and the Doré School of Graduate Studies. The university is accredited by the Commission on Colleges of the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools. Other properties include a 65-acre athletic plant and student apartment complex, the Louisiana Environmental Research Center, Burton Coliseum, the 503-acre MSU farm, and nearly 1,600 acres of donated farm property used for research, farming, and ranching. Over 8,500 students attend the university. Sawala Technical Community College offers associate degrees, technical diplomas, and certificate programs, as well as general education courses that can transfer to four-year universities. 
Finally, Delta School of Business and Technology specializes in vocational courses. Four libraries are located in the city. The largest, with over 400,000 volumes, is Fraser Memorial Library on the campus of McNeese State University. The first library, Carnegie Memorial Library, was financed by Andrew Carnegie and opened in 1904. It also houses the Southwest Louisiana Genealogical and Historical Library. This along with Central Library and Epps Memorial Library is part of the Kakashu Parish Public Library, which has 13 locations throughout Kakashu Parish. Lake Charles Public Schools are operated by the Kakashu Parish Public School System. There are two charter schools, and a number of private schools as well. The city of Lake Charles is governed by a mayor-council form of government. The elected officials include the mayor, the clerk of court, and seven city council members. Each council member represents a particular district within the city limits. One council member is elected president and presides over each meeting. The mayor serves a four-year term. The current mayor is Nick Hunter. The city attorney is appointed by the mayor. The Lake Charles Police Department or LCPD provides law enforcement and protection for the city. The police chief is appointed for a six-year term, and the fire chief is appointed as well. The Lake Charles Fire Department consists of eight fire stations with 15 fire companies. McNeese State University also has its own security, the McNeese Police Department. The Lake Charles City Court's jurisdiction covers all within the city limits as well as Ward 3 in Calcasieu Parish. The 14th Judicial District Court, located in downtown Lake Charles, covers Calcasieu Parish and includes nine judges who preside over family, juvenile, civil, and criminal trials. Lake Charles is home to a United States District Court, located downtown. The Louisiana Third Circuit Court of Appeals is headquartered in the city. Lake Charles is served by Clay Higgins of Louisiana's 3rd Congressional District. Much of the city is represented by Senator Ronnie Johns of District 27 in the Louisiana State Senate, however, Dan Moorish's District 25 includes some neighborhoods of South Lake Charles. The violent crime rate in Lake Charles is one of the highest in the nation, across communities of all sizes. Violent offenses tracked included rape, murder and non-negligent manslaughter, armed robbery, and aggravated assault, including assault with a deadly weapon. The overall crime rate in Lake Charles is 67% higher than the national average. For every 100,000 people, there are 13.11 daily crimes that occur in Lake Charles. The most widely distributed daily newspaper is the American Press. Other popular periodicals include Lanyette Magazine, The Jambalaya News, Gumbo Magazine, and Thrive Magazine. The contraband is McNeese State University's student newspaper. Major television network affiliates include KPLC7, an NBC affiliate also operating the area's CW affiliate on its DT2 subchannel, KSWLLD17, a CBS affiliate, KLTL18, a PBS member station, KWWLD19, a My Network slash Me TV affiliate, and KVHP29, a Fox affiliate also operating the area's ABC affiliate on its DT2 subchannel. KBYS 88.3 Oldies, KRVS 88.7 NPR, KRLR 89.1 K Love, KYLC 90.3, Kojo 91.1, KBAN 91.5, KTSR 92.1 Classic Rock. KHLA 92.9 Classic Hits, KPPMLP 93.5 Black Gospel, KSMB 94.5 Top 40, KYKZ 96.1 Country, KQLK 97.9 Country, W252 AC 98.3, KNGT 99.5 Country, KELBEL P100.5, KKGB 101.3 Mainstream Rock, KYBG 102.1 Classic Hits, KAJN FM 102.9 Contemporary Christian, KBIU 103.3 CHR, KLCJ 104.1 Oldies, KKMY 104.5 Rhythmic Top 40, KZWA 104.9 Urban Adult Contemporary, KIOC 106.1 Active Rock, KJMH 107.5 Urban, KLVI 560 News Slash Talk, KF 1290 Cajun Music, KES 1310 Sports, KIOC 1400 Talk, KLCL 1470 Urban Adult Contemporary, KXCC 1580 Sports, KHB 42 162.400 NOAA Weather Radio. 
the city streets are laid out primarily in a grid pattern. Interstate 10 passes through Lake Charles, connecting the city with Houston to the west and New Orleans to the east. The Calcasieu River Bridge crosses the Calcasieu River in part of Lake. Featuring decorative flintlock pistols on the railing, it is 135 feet high. About 50,000 vehicles pass over it daily. Dot despite its age of over 60 years, it is considered safe by the Louisiana Dot. Interstate 210 is an interstate highway bypass that loops through the southern portion of the city. The curving Israel Loeffler Bridge goes over the Calcasieu Ship Channel. This bridge has a 96% rating even after withstanding recent hurricanes. The loop has served Lake Charles commuters for 40 years, and carries about 40,000 vehicles per day. Other major highways include U.S. Highway 90, which runs parallel with Interstate 10, and U.S. Highway 171, which connects the city to the north with Moss Bluff, the Ritter, and Shreveport. Highway 165, which runs northeast to Alexandria terminates at Highway 90 just a few miles east of the city. Louisiana Highway 14 ends at a junction with Highway 90, and runs south then east of the city. Lake Charles is served by two airports. Lake Charles Regional Airport, located south of the city, provides commercial airline service to Houston and Dallas. Chenault International Airport, while a fully operational airport, is an industrial and maintenance center. The latter airport, a former Strategic Air Command U.S. Air Force base during the Cold War, is named for Major General Claire Chenault, the aviator famous for commanding the Flying Tigers fighter group during World War II. The Port of Lake Charles is the 13th busiest seaport in the United States, the fourth largest liner service seaport in the U.S. Gulf, and a major West Gulf container load center. The city docks in Lake Charles are the main hub of shipping activity. The Calcasieu Ship Channel provides direct access to the Gulf of Mexico 34 miles downstream. The Ship Channel, which has a projected depth of 40 feet and a bottom width of 400 feet, intersects the Gulf Intracoastal Waterway just north of Calcasieu Lake. Lake Charles Transit, the city's bus system, provides five routes throughout the city. It has one Greyhound bus station, and the Amtrak station serves the Sunset Limited train route. Electrical needs are provided by the energy company Entergy. The city provides drinking water and sewage service to residents within city limits. Top water is treated at six water treatment facilities in the city. Lake Charles is served by two hospitals with multiple locations, Christos St. Patrick Hospital and Lake Charles Memorial Hospital. Christos St. Patrick Hospital operates the Lake Area Medical Center campus in South Lake Charles, and Lake Charles Memorial Hospital operates a birthing hospital called Lake Charles Memorial Hospital for Women. Christianity is the predominant religion in the Lake area. Roman Catholicism is the largest individual denomination, claiming about 50% of the population. Lake Charles is also home to various Protestant Christian denominations, the largest being the Southern Baptist Congregation with 30%. There is a ward of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Lake Charles. There are also religious communities from other faiths such as Islam, Judaism, and Eastern Orthodox Christianity. Lake Charles is featured or mentioned in The Drowning Pool, The Beyond, A Taste of Louisiana with Chef John Fulce and Company. Dot, Passion Fish, Good Eats, UFC 22, There Can Be Only One Champion, UFC 24, First Defense, Blue Vinyl, Little Chenier, Mercy, Split Ends, All Over But To Cry, Film Hustle, Good Boy, and 10 Cloverfield Lane. Film Hustle, Good Boy, and 10 Cloverfield Lane. Film Hustle. Good boy, and 10 Cloverfield Lane. Hustle.